want mine! The other side must be barred. <laughs> must be blocked from the other side.
You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. I have carved a furrow through this teeming land, and the skulls sing loud of my deeds. Those who boast have something to prove. The great have no need for it. Aver hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers? Are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. Eivor has brought many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Brother and Broder, was it? Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing, not to make friends. Basim, good to find you here. What news do you have? Fulke remains at Porchester, just as we suspected. And as of three days ago, Sigurd was with her, alive. That is the best news we could hope for. And how are you? I am well. And keen to see my old friend again. You'll be glad to see you, I'm sure. Guthrum Jarl, your second Soma talked often of you and your conquests. They are all one in my memory. A single great battle that stretches from my first breath to the end of this sentence. That sounds glorious. A living Valhalla. Perhaps it does. But what happens when all the dead wear the same face and their pleas become a senseless blare? Where did Torsten die? On a field or in a marsh? 
We were close as brothers once, yet I don't recall where or when. You wear the scars of battle, and not only on your skin. The needle of loss becomes blunt once you have been pierced enough. But enough of that. My second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother, or is it the other way around? It's uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten! He's been moping since the wedding. There will be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. I'll follow you, Abel, to glory and Valhalla! Rape with me, warrior, for plunder, glory and Valhalla. Thank <laughs> you. 